Hello, happy Monday. I can't say good morning because I'm on here so late today. But the kids and I, Cora and Bo, and then I picked up Rozzy. Um, so we went to the dentist and um, they had a good little checkup. And we just ran some errands and then just Monday morning stuff. <laughs> Your boat crashing in the back of It's like banging things around. You're such a boy. Anyway, just it's just a busy Monday, but I love Mondays and um, it was a very much accomplished Monday. So I announced the giveaway winners on the giveaway post, but I'm gonna announce it on stories too. I'll put their names on the next slide. But it was Brittany, Tara, Angela, and Paige were the giveaway winners for the Abundant Management, Good Morning Mama, Kaya and Cash, and Bradley Bunch giveaway. And they will receive all sorts of things, like so many things with that giveaway. So that's really exciting. But we had such an interest in our strategy calls that we want to extend them through Wednesday um, at 50% off. They're, they're always available, but he's looking for my lip gloss. Because <laughs> I always hide it in my bra. You found one. Um, <laughs> we're extending a 50% off sale on our strategy call with Abundant Management through um, Wednesday. And so small businesses and influencers can talk to Chelsea and I for an hour together or separately, however you guys want. And we can look at 2025 or the end of the year and come up with an influencer strategy plan or a small business strategy plan to make it your best year ever. And we've had so much fun and just, we love watching the success of influencers and small businesses, especially when it's been really fun to see small businesses and influencers come together and just watch that success. So it's just really fun. Which leads me to my next point. So Abundant Management, Chelsea and my company that we have just started, we're hiring. So we're hiring a brand ambassador and I'm going to put the um, the um, Google form on the next slide with the flyer that you guys can click on. And if you're interested in applying to be a brand ambassador, which basically reaches out to brands, small businesses, um, in particular and helps them partner with influencers and you help um, connect the two and in doing so you get commission so that's what the job is I'm gonna put that on one of the next slides as well and one more thing that's exciting on Saturday at 1 o'clock Eastern, so 12 o'clock Central Time, my time, we are having a virtual launch party for Abundant Management. It's going to be like a meet and greet. It's going to be really fun. Chelsea and I will both be there. It'll take place through Facebook events, and it'll be a Facebook live event. It's free to attend. You can all just attend. And in comments, you can ask questions, you can introduce yourself. We're going to be giving away a bunch of things during the live event. And it's just to launch Abundant Management and just celebrate just Abundant Management and just what it is. And also just to say hi to you guys. It's really fun to go live, but Chelsea's going to help me moderate it so that I can like meet and greet and visit with you all. Okay, so those were my main exciting announcements. Um, it was a lot for a Monday, I know. Um, last night, Inga and Roz and Cora spent the night in their new room all together, and it went perfectly. But I figured it would because it was the first night, and they were all so excited. I bought some fairy lights for behind Roz and Cora's bed, so I think they'll like having the fairy lights. Um, they'll be here on Wednesday, and I'll add those. But it was really nice because Cora really um, hasn't really had a room in a while because she did have a beautiful bedroom, but she hated to sleep in it because she was alone and she likes to sleep with either Evie or Inga or with us. So now she has a room with her siblings, with Inga and Roz, and she loved it. What? Can you tell he missed his nap today? <laughs> Alright, so that's what's going on here. Cooking dinner, making a chicken ziti tonight. Oh my gosh, he was fussing because he wanted to brush my hair. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank 
you. You're doing a good job. Um, the other thing that I forgot, totally forgot to mention is our podcast for this week is live. And we talked about the fourth trimester in the podcast. And Chelsea had a baby five weeks ago. So she is like full-fledged in that fourth trimester. And what that means, some people are like, what's the fourth trimester? It's that time after you have a baby when there's a lot of adjustment, both for the mom and the baby. And we talk all about it in the podcast. I'm also going to link that in the next slide, one of the next slides, because um, you'll want to watch it if you are either pregnant or if you've been in the fourth trimester or about to be there like me once again. And anyway, it was a good episode. And Chelsea's doing no, Evie's brushing bows here. <laughs> But Chelsea's doing great in the fourth trimester, but it's a really fun podcast, and it's a really important um, topic, too, because a lot of moms have a really hard time in the fourth trimester, that time after you have a baby, when the baby blues, postpartum depression, just a lot of adjustment takes place, and a lot of times it's a time that not a lot of people talk about. So, hope you enjoy the podcast. All right. The kids just got home from school. Going to hang out with them. Going to make some dinner. All right. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday. This is random, but today in Good Morning Mama Stories, Chelsea was talking about a tripod, and she was going to ask me what my favorite tri tripod is for um, like just recording. This is it. So it folds up like this, and this actually even folds up. So if you do any type of recording at all, this is a great one. This actually snaps out. And it is a um, Bluetooth, like, remote shutter. So you can set this up and, hold on, it's hard to do it with one hand. But this will extend, this extends, like, five feet. You can't tell, but, like, I use this for family pictures. It extends five feet, and then I use this remote shutter button to take our family pictures. Door slam injuries cause 155,000 emergency room visits and 14,000 finger amputations per year in the United States alone. Other door safety products must be removed or disengaged to close the door, and then their safety is gone. But patented safe slam stays on your doors even when closed and springs into safety position as soon as the door opens. Made of safe and durable silicone, it's simple to install, no tools required, and looks so great that kids and parents actually want this safety device on their doors. You can avoid this painful problem with the best door slam stopper. Safe slam stops door slams. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Oh, happy Sunday. We just got back from church. And Bo is about to take a nap. Yes, you are. <laughs> he thinks he does not need a nap, but he definitely does. Okay, okay, okay. Um, today we're going to finish up our family work day. There's only a few more items. And we're going to like move the big TV to the porch and then move the treadmill from the third floor down to the workout area. And then I'm going to work in Inga's room and move Roz and Cora's beds into Inga's room. And I've had a lot of questions asked, like why am I moving Cora's room to Inga's room and moving the future nursery into Cora's room like so soon? Because I've said that we're not gonna actually use the nursery um, for a long, long time because after the baby's born, hold on a second. Um, 
after the baby's born, like we co-sleep for like six months to a year and then um, the baby will use the nursery. But the reason is because Cora's room is not even being used at all right now because she doesn't like sleeping alone. And so she's been sleeping like with on Evie's, in Evie's room or Inga's room or with Roz or in our room. So she will sleep anywhere but her room because she hates sleeping alone. And now that Rosie moved to like the little reading nook, Cora's like on her own and she doesn't like it. So that's why I'm like, I'm gonna get Cora into Inga's room and Inga doesn't care. So, um, and then I'm gonna move Roz in there because just so she has another option. So like she can still sleep in the reading nook if she wants, but I'm gonna put another bed in um, Inga's room just so that's like her technical room where all her clothes will be. And so she'll have like two rooms. <laughs> So that's what's going on inside the house and then Inga's got a basketball practice and Evie has a cheer practice today and um, we're gonna watch some football I'm going to make some baked ziti in the instant pot today and what else just a bunch of bunch of random little projects so I love Sundays Sundays are like my favorite and it was just really nice to start the week at church and everybody was there and just just awesome. So, anyway, I hope everybody is having a wonderful Sunday. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. I just pulled up. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. I just pulled up. Okay, so we moved Cora and Rosalind's bed into Inga's room and it's working really well. If you remember, the TV and the console used to be there and so now the console is over here and it's like the exact size of the window. It actually worked perfect and then we left that, we left that, Benny's hiding. <laughs> We left Inga's room. We moved her bookshelf over there. Um, her desk used to be there, but we moved the desk there and they can all share it. And I love it. Good. I love that. And so far, so good. I think it's going to work. And then this used to be my holiday closet and I still need to add a few more closet racks, but this is going to be where they will have all their clothes. We're going to have closets going all the way down. It's probably like a, I don't know, 15 foot room. So it's a long room and it'll fit all of their clothes. And I think it'll work well because, because Inga is, she just likes to be around her siblings and she doesn't mind to have um, kids in her room. And Cora doesn't like sleeping alone. And then Rosalind, she loved the reading nook and it was super cute, but it was still a reading nook. But we still went ahead and left a room or put a bed in here just in case she wanted to still have this room. Um, I'm washing the bedding, so I'll have to add the bedding to it. But she still has this room for kind of a play area and a bed in case she wants it. But the idea is to have them all three in here because the room is big enough. And then the room that used to be Roz and Cora's and then Cora's will now be turned into the baby nursery. So it's kind of girly right now as far as the wallpaper. So I'm going to just go with it. And then if the baby was is a boy, then I'll change it to a boy theme. Ben. Where in the world did that come? Oh. <laughs> Run, I don't want like to. Benny. Then you can't enter my room. <laughs> Making him put Germex on. <laughs> so, I think it's going to work. We'll see. It's so cute to see them all three in here. <laughs> 